Hey guys, it's Carl Ron from GuitarLessons365.com again. And today we're going to take a look at the A major section of Recuerdos de la Alhambra. Okay, so if you're following along with the tab, which you should be, uh, this is going to be starting at measure 21. Alright, so once again we still have the same... Same tremolo pattern going. So let's take a look at what we're doing in the left hand. We're going to have this uh, your first finger at the second fret on the D, and your second finger at the second fret on the B string. And the, th the thumb is going to pick the fifth, fourth, second, fourth. Then drop your pinky and your third finger on the fourth fret on the G and the third fret on the B string. And you move the tremolo over to the, the uh, B string as well. Then grab that, still holding that second fret there on the D, grab that with that second string tremolo. So we have. Then we're gonna have an A bar, just bar across the second, third, and fourth strings. And you're gonna pick the open A string, then the fourth, third, fourth. Put back down those four and three, this time with your third and second finger. And the second fret there on the D string. So we have for that fret. All right, then we go to page three here. Back to the op same opening chord for A major section. And the pattern is just gonna be five, four, two, four, two, four. All right. again. All right, then we have the first finger here at the second fret on the high E string, third uh, fret here on the B string, and then your third finger here at the fourth fret on the D string. So when you have this chord, you're going to be picking the 5th string, 4th, 2nd, 4th, 2nd, 4th. Then shift up to the 10th fret here, your third finger, for your, with your index finger on the high E, 3rd finger at the 12th fret on the D, and the pinky at the 12th fret on the B string. And the pattern, the picking pattern will be open A. Then the fourth string, second string, fourth string. Then quickly go back down to the chord you were just holding. And the thumb is going to click on the second string and the fourth string. All right. Then you can let go of the fourth uh, finger here if you want. Open A string. And then we have that little trill pattern here. So this is going to be the thumb on the B string, the third fret. Then the middle finger, take the two, hit the index with the two again, hammer pull, and then shift down your second finger to the second fret on the B string. And then you get your first finger here at the uh, second fret on the D string. So we have, we're picking the B, D, B. Then it's the same pattern as the four on this chord. Five, four, two, four, two, four. Then we have kind of a, a difficult bar chord here. We're gonna put your full bar at the second fret, and your pinky's gotta grab the fifth fret on the high E string. And you're gonna put your third finger at the fourth fret on the D string. All right, so holding that chord shape, the thumb is gonna pick that, by the way, the tremolo is on the high E string here, and we have the sixth string, fourth, third, second, third, fourth. All right, then move up to the fourth fret bar, and the third finger is going to be at the sixth fret on the D, and then the uh, second finger here is going to be the fifth fret on the G. And uh, we're going to continue the same. 
and that's going to be picking the still the tremolo on the B, the high E string, picking on the thumb the sixth, fourth, third, and second strings. Then move everything over, still holding the chord shape, but move the tremolo over to the second string, and the thumb will pick the third string, and then the fourth string. Alright, then we have this chord, the fourth fret here on the A string, sixth fret on the D, sixth fret on the G, seventh fret with your pinky here on the B string. And you're going to pick that shape, the tremolo here is on the second string. You're going to pick five, four, three, four, three, four. They're the exact same picking pattern with a C sharp minor chord, which is just the still fourth fret on the 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 uh, fifth string six and six on the b and the, g, the d and the g strings and then the b string at the fifth fret so we have all right so then we're going to come down to the second fret on the a string and your pinky is going to grab the third fret on the b string then your third finger is going to come over and grab the third fret on the D string. So you pick that twice. And the open D, then the second fret, and third fret. Then the same chord here that we opened um, the A major section with. And you're going to be picking, the tremolo is on the, the B string. And we have low 6th string, 4th string, 4th string, 4th string. So we have. Then everything open, low 6th string, and the D, open D string. Okay. Then we go to page 4 here. And. So we're going to put our first finger back down here on the second fret here on the um, D string. You're going to pick the open A, and then you're going to have the that same tremolo picking pattern. You're going to hammer that open that second fret down and pull back off to the open string. Then when you do that, bar the second fret at the third and fourth string. Now you're going to pick the 4th string here, and the tremolo is now over onto the G string. Pick the 2nd fret twice, then the 4th fret, and reach up and grab the 6th fret. So still doing the tremolo on that too. Then we have open A string, still doing the 2, the bar and then the D string. Then add the fourth fret on the A string. Then we're gonna say the second fret on the D and then put your pinky at the fourth fret on the B. Bar that across the second fret on the G and the B string and then put that four and three down. So that measure is. building all right then we go back to the basically this measure 37 is basically starting over the a major section again so it's everything we've gone through so far in the a major section Thank mm -hmm. you.
right there is when we now have a different ending than we did before. When we got to that little part where we went up to the two, four, six on the D string there. This is when we, after you get that little part in, you hold the A bar down now across the second, I mean the third and the fourth strings here. Open A string and the fourth string five times. Then use your third finger and come down on the third fret. You can do the same picking pattern again, but then you can be holding the third fret on that D string five times as well. So those two frets together. Now I'll use my third finger there, not my second, because of what comes up in this next fret, this next measure, which is going to be open A with the tremolo low on the B string, then that third fret there on the D. Put your second finger here at the second fret on the G, and then the first finger at the first fret on the D. I mean the B string. Then back down, picking the fourth. So we have. Then you pick the G string again, but put your pinky here at the third fret on the B string. And then come back in and hit that three on the D string again. Alright, then back to the same pattern that we open the A major. That same chord shape there, and that same pattern done twice. going to go on there is we're going to have the 5th fret on the B and then the 6th fret on the D string. Tremolo is on the B string here, so you hit the low 6th string and then the 4th fret with that 6th, I mean the 4th string with that 6th fret, we're going to hit that 5 times. So. Move everything down 2 frets. string, then the D string, then move to that previous chord here the, that we opened the A major with. So open 6th string, then the D string, then everything open. 6th string, open D string. So we have... get to the A here, a little A bar across the third and fourth strings. Open A string. The tremolo is now on the, the G string. Then you get to pick the D string a few times, but you're going to do a little chromatic line. You're going to pick the second fret, third, fourth, three, two. So it's all on the D string there. back to the open A string and then just hitting the D string five times then putting that third fret down again like we did before that's the same climbing phrase that same opening chord that we open the A major section with done twice the pattern done twice on it to the ending here. Alright, so that's a um, fourth finger at the fourth fret, uh, third finger at the fourth fret on the high E string, pinky at the fifth fret on the B string, and then your first finger at the second fret on the D string. Now you're going to hit the low open E with it. The tremolo is going to be on the high E string. Then you pick the 4th fret. 4th string, sorry. 
second, fourth, second, fourth. Then move every back thing back to the second fret here. We're gonna have the um, third finger play the high second fret, and then the second fret on the B string with your second finger, and then the one on the D string with your index. There's a reason why we're we're fingering this this way. So we have the tremolo is still in the high E, sixth string, fourth, second. So after the fourth fret, the uh, fourth first fourth string, you're gonna pick up the third finger to make that high E string open. Then pick the second fret, second string, sorry, and then the fourth string. So we got. Take your pinky and your third finger over to grab that four and the three. And then the D string, still holding that second fret. A bar chord across the second, third, and fourth strings. Open A string. Four, three, four. Then the fourth fret on the fourth string. Back to the third string. So we got this. Start that pattern again. First three notes of the, uh, you know, open A, fourth string, third string. Then it goes to the low E string. Then the third fret on the A string. And when you pick this, when you're doing the tremolo, take your thumb over and and lay it on that open E string so it doesn't ring when you're playing. That those two notes don't work together. So you gotta go like this. So you see how after I picked that note, I came over and I planted my thumb and just stopped that fourth, that open E string from ringing, and then I went back to the fourth fret to get that. So we got. Do that again. You're going to sl be slowing down here for these couple frets, I mean these couple of measures. And then we're going to end it with just some simple eighth notes. We're going to hold an A major chord. A good way of doing this for this part, since we want the, everything to ring open and be able to shift very easy. Second finger is going to do the second fret on the B string. And you're going to borrow the third and fourth strings at the second fret there. So you're going to go pick thumb on the A, then the D as well, and then index on the uh, G string, middle finger on the B ring finger on the high E and when you do that high E use it as a uh, opportunity to just shift up and then the second finger the middle finger is going to grab this 10th fret here on the B string all right then you're gonna grab this a major chord it's gonna be open a string 11th fret on the D 10th fret on the B 12th fret on the high E and you're going to play those just with your thumb, index, middle, and ring finger. And you might want to just go one after the other. Else. Instead of like that. Then we're going to come down and play this last chord in the song. Fifth fret with your pinky on the low E. Fourth fret on the A. And then bar across the second and... Uh, I'm sorry, the second fret across the third and fourth strings there. Bottom four strings, just for your thumb, index, middle, and ring finger, just all together. Alright, and that's it for Recuerdos de la Hambra. Alright, so please uh, request any other songs that you'd like to learn, and I'll get on it. Alright, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.